One aspect that's not always a given in property insurance is lighting. When you use Matterport in real estate, you're gonna walk into a beautifully staged home that's ready to scan. But in our industry, you may show up to a fire loss and there's no power available at the property. So sometimes we have to create our own lighting. Thankfully, you can attach a light to the top of a Matterport Pro Series camera, as we're showing here, and be able to create the light that you need that will stay with the camera as it spins. What do we like about these types of lights, these floodlights here? Well, they're pretty versatile, they're pretty cheap. Right? We've gone through a number of different iterations for what we suggested to our membership. We started out with a $280 offering. We've got these down to about 20 what, bucks, 30 20, bucks. 20, 30 bucks with the GoPro mount, 12 bucks, right? So you're in business for less than 40 bucks. Um, these are really getting the job done. So Highlight the GoPro mount here. So when there isn't a mount on top of the Pro Series camera, which we don't love, but there is a flat surface. So it's pretty easy to get a GoPro mount, a female mount that has double-sided tape and just drop that on there. And then it just clips right in. I love these GoPro mounts. They're like really easy off and on and really, really solid. And not only is there one, but you can actually just stack it and put two. I wouldn't say using two lights is really necessary, but it's kind of nice if you want to project one down, one up, and kind of match that up with the image uh, sensors from the Pro Series camera, because remember, you've got sensors that are pointing forward, sensors that are pointing down, and sensors that are pointing up. And so you can kind of mirror that with some overlap between the two and get a really high quality scan and a low light environment. Uh, these particular floodlights, if they're made for filming at all, uh, they typically have a high hertz rate and then they have soft edges. And so what we've noticed with these type of equipment, is you get a lot better results than taping a flashlight on top of a Pro Series camera. That's when you can get some pretty cruddy scans and it's difficult to see the detail. So something of this nature has uh, delivered really compelling results for our team on the cheap. One thing to note here is that the battery on these lights can run out over time, just like the battery on your Matterport camera right now. One accessory that we actually recommend you have is some kind of battery pack on site, and you can attach this to the camera, Velcro it, this will help. An additional method, often these lights will have power settings or, or, or how intense you want the light. Uh, level one, level two, level three, level three being high intense light. We found that you probably only need the medium level. We don't need to be blasting these, uh, our spaces with the highest, most intense light possible. As Watley mentioned, having those soft edges and the high hertz rates in these lights creates the ambient light that we need for the Pro 2 and Pro Series cameras to work as efficiently as they can.